Hello, Froggy here, and today we'll be going to where you go to in the Larceny mission. It's also where you would go to start the Presage uh, exotic missions for uh, Dead Man's Tale. So we're just going to come up here and sword fly across, keeping close to the structure to avoid the turn back for a bit. And then just missile straight through. Well, that was pretty quick. Anyways, let's take a brief look around this area here. It's kind of hard to go through without shooting all the explosive yellow barrels here. And there we have it, the open container where the pad would be. So I actually went here last season too. And this is what that looked like before. You can see the uh, structure is closed. And you can't really easily go back without missile. Because the turn back will kill you for being too slow. Well. Let's go take a look at the underside of it. So you may have seen me use this out-of-map spot previously when I went to the end of the arms dealer slash like uh, Themos mission areas. It's a fairly easy sparrow breach where you're using the sparrow dismount to go through this little hole here. So just line yourself up with it. Pull out your sparrow, move into the gap, and dismount. Ideally, your sparrow will move a decent amount inwards, which is how you know you've definitely got it. So there is a lost sector below us, but those square hallways make it difficult to hit load zones, and it's not our destination. We're just going to go up through the ceiling there with catapult lift and now there is this ceiling that we'll see after we jump from here we just need to head over to the load zone if you hit this wrong you'll end up dying but it's not that long to try again just avoid the walls and here we are in legion's anchor It's a pretty interesting spot. And that thing out there is actually solid, though it seems to be outside of the box. Quite unfortunate, as I would love to climb on it. Let's head back to where the arms dealer strike begins. This area got reused quite a lot during the campaign, going through different areas with different doors open. Nice to see them reusing some of the areas now. Yeah, this would be uh, the door that's open now in the strike to go get the uh, pad. Last season I uh, Salvation uh, breached through those doors, but at least currently we don't know how to do that, so they may have finally gotten their patch right. This is the, uh, the first place I came to when I was trying to get into the room that you saw at the beginning of the video. Unfortunately when you get out here there's not really a way to get through. Just a bunch of turn back zones and death barriers if you try to go from below. So you can kind of look at the uh, underside of the map there. There's actually another uh, pretty cool thing about this area, which was uh, pretty unexpected the first time I, uh, I hit it. And it Turns out that uh, 
the death floor is a lot lower than you might expect it to be. So I'm just going to jump off the side here. And see how far I went there. Hmm. If I can get into that. Never mind. As I said, lots of, uh, lots of death barriers. So let's do that again. There's a lot of, uh, structures here you can actually walk around. And yep. Oh. Yep. Death barrier again. But there's a whole, like, flat sheet that you can walk around. A little bit below the water. I wonder if that's sparrowable water. That's a neat little side room. Yeah, the sort of water you see here you can often drive a sparrow on, although you'll pass right through it yourself. But there's ground right underneath. There's actually quite a lot of area to walk around down here. Unfortunately, most of the interesting stuff is behind barriers. Well, let's head back up. Huh. Well, that works too, I guess. It would be rather nice if we could get onto that ship, but it does seem to be outside of the box. So that might just be the stand-in for the one in the other zone. So I guess we kind of do. Anyways, might as well keep heading on in. You can get all the way to Firebase Hades this way. Actually, you can get around most of the EDZ from outside of the map. I used to entertain myself seeing how far I could go without having to go back inside. Getting all the way from, like, Trossland around to uh, Firebase Hades and up to, uh, made it to the dark forest that way once or twice. And yeah, I would give that a go if you are interested in a fun little challenge. I don't know what that little room's doing outside of the map. It's perplexing. Now yeah, we'll be coming up on the little corridor back to Firebase Hades. And you've confused the loader. So I'll get a 360 in. And maybe a 720. Yeah, when you come from ways they don't expect, you get those rather long loads. Well, nope. before I go that way, I'm just going to take a quick peek up here. Nothing too exciting, but I thought it was a... Uh, a little neat. You can jump up and see inside there. It's at the map ceiling, so not much to do. Let's give a quick little flight here and see what we can see underneath. Huh. The sun, apparently. It's a nice little sunset. And you've also got these structures underneath the map from uh, the old adventures, which were uh, also sunset. What was that? Was that floor? Maybe not. Must have been the wind. To old guardians by the Cabal base, there's an Eva catch headed your way. Oftentimes, when you're flying around underneath the uh, main public areas, you can see the little offshoots into uh, the different lost sectors. Running a little bit low on swords, so. Pardon my sparrow flying. But yeah, when you see those, they are always fun to check out. Most Lost Sectors have holes to get into them inside of them, but not all do. So, 
if you're trying to get into a law sector and having difficulty, you can always try going from a known out of map outside of the law sector. This one will probably be pretty nice because it's nice and rocky. Yep, hit that mode pretty easily. Go to the old excavation site 12. It's nice little mirror blocks over here. Not quite sure what those are for, but they're neat looking. And if you've ever wondered what's behind that vault there, you're about to find out the answer. And... nothing. Meh. Seems a good place to end. But before I go, it's interesting to note that the missiles that you can see moving from inside the map also show up outside. <laughs>